Hey guys, today I have a lug video for you comparing the new lug jitterbug in this metallic pearl to the mini ranger in this classic black. So someone asked me to do a comparison between the two. So I just got the jitterbug in and I have the mini ranger completely packed up. I will give you the comparisons between the two how they wear on the body, and just my final thoughts about both. So if you wanna see a comparison between the Lug Jitterbug and the Lug Mini Ranger, then just keep watching. So I'm just gonna tell you the similarities and the differences in both of these, and then I'm also going to unpack the Mini Ranger that I have completely packed up and see if it will fit in the Jitterbug. So they look like they are very similar. The Jitterbug may look like it's a little bit bigger, but as you know, the Ranger and the Mini Ranger have that gusset that really packs the punch, and you can fit a little bit more in there than you would normally. Thing. So let's just go ahead and start off with the straps. So the Jitterbug has a one and a half inch strap and it can be carried and adjusted as a crossbody. It can also be adjusted as short as it gets as a shoulder bag. And then you can also carry it just by these little straps. With the Mini Ranger, you have the one inch strap. It can be adjusted for crossbody over the shoulder and then you have this really nice grab handle so you can just grab it and go. So the Jitterbug does not have that grab handle but then the Mini Ranger does not have the tote straps that you can use. So let me just go ahead and get the straps out of the way so we can get into the bag. So the Jitterbug is in the metallic pearl. This is such a pretty fabrication. And it's in that basket weave pattern, but in that big macro basket weave. And the front of the Mini Ranger has kind of like this arrow quilted design. Since this is black, I'm not sure if you can really see the quilting detail of this one, but it does have the metal lug plate as opposed to the Jitterbug does have that really nice lug logo. All of the hardware on the Jitterbug is in the gunmetal with the zippers and the zipper pulls. And in the Mini Ranger, the zipper pulls are in gunmetal. So are your rings for your crossbody, but the actual zippers themselves are tonal. So they are that black color on the Mini Ranger. So as you can see a side by side comparison, it looks like the Jitterbug is just a little bit taller than the Mini Ranger is. And then let's just show the bottom. So you can see it looks like it's a little bit wider for the Mini Ranger than it is the Jitterbug. And then let's just look at the side. So obviously the Mini Ranger is completely packed up. So you can see how that gusset allows for it to be a little bit wider and fit a little bit more in that. So there are your side by side comparisons of the Jitterbug and the Mini Ranger. So the D rings to attach your straps to are on the side on the Mini Ranger. And then they are a little bit bigger than the Jitterbug. So the Jitterbug is kind of like down here. If you actually pull this zipper tab out, it's actually underneath that, but I don't like the way that hangs out. So I always tuck mine in side of the bag because you do have that little bit of room to do that. And then you can see those little smaller D rings over here on the side. So these straps don't stay down, so they are gonna stay up. And you'll also see how it wears on the body a little bit later in the video. When the Jitterbug is crossbody, these do kind of stick up. They don't lay flat down. So I'm trying to get them out of the way though so I can show you the differences in the two. So in the front of the Mini Ranger, you actually have a zipper compartment that zips about halfway down to the bottom. And you can see from the side, it has about an inch, inch and a half little gusset in here so you can open this wide in the front. The front of the Jitterbug does not have any kind of organization or anything on it, but it does have this charm bar. And I do have my little charm on there from my Flare 2. I did want to mention something. I'm not sure if it's the material, the metallic pearl material, or if it's just what Lug is doing with their newer bags, but I do have that charm bar that's on the Flare 2. And I have another bag that it's on. It's on the um, new Skyliner too. And it doesn't feel like this one right here. This one feels more of a rubber material. And I don't know if Lug is kind of going to that because these charms don't slide as easily as they did on the original one that I got on that Flare too. So it feels like it's a little bit more of a different material on this charm bar and it's more of like a rubber top. So that is what the front of the Jitterbug has. And the front of the Mini Ranger has this really nice gusset area. So what I put in the front of this was a wallet and I'm gonna show you that I have this packed up and I'm just gonna see if everything will convert over to the Jitterbug and which one has more room. But um, it's not packed as how I would pack it. I just threw some things in here just so you can see the capacity of it. It's not actually what I would have in my bag. That's not what this video is about. So the front of this has this built-in wallet. So you have your clear 
area right here if you want to put your driver's license then you have a place for two other credit card slots and this is rfid protected so i just threw the wallet in there so that it could be protected rfid protected but most of the time i don't really utilize the built-in wallets on some of the smaller bags i do that the original flare i actually use utilize that built-in wallet but on the mini ranger i don't just because i have this full-size kate spade wallet that fits in there really nicely and it gets protected in that front part so you don't have a front part to the jitter bag so let's just go ahead and move to what's behind that on this mini ranger so you do have that snap closure felt lined area that's designated for your cell phone so i just grabbed a random old phone that i have here at the house and it fits horizontally in it with a pop socket on the back now i'm going to convert all these over in just a moment but i just wanted to show you the front organization of the mini ranger and the front organization of the jitterbugs when you turn it around to the back, you do have zipper pockets in the back of both of them. So you do have this horizontal zipper in the back. And in the back of this, I just put a coin purse. And then it does have a key bungee in here. So that's your organization that's in the back. You have this really nice zipper area. It goes all the way down to the bottom and it goes from one side to the other. And it does have a key bungee in the back of that, which I just clipped my flashlight on that. And whenever we find the key bungee in this, we will convert it over to that one. So in the back of the jitterbug, you just have a really nice open area. No organization back there. It's just a really nice zipper. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that coin purse in the back of this and we will see how everything else fits. So that's the organization on the outside. On your jitterbug, you just have the zipper horizontal zipper in the back and then on the mini ranger you have the zipper around in the front that is a built-in wallet then you have your cell phone felt lines area behind it and then you do have that zipper pocket in the back with a key bungee so let's just go ahead and show you the top of the jitterbug so this one's kind of set up like the mini dory is it has a magnetic closed area that's soft lined in the front and then it also has the same identical pocket in the back so you can see there are two magnetic closed felt lines areas and they're kind of on the top right beside where the zippers are so i'm just going to transfer this phone over here to this one and it does fit horizontally and there's a lot of room in there for that so then let's just go ahead and move on to the inside so for the jitterbug since i have it completely empty i'm going to show it to you first so you have that really nice zipper area right here this is the inside of the jitterbug so you can see that really pretty lining that's on the metallic pearl it's that fern lining so let me go ahead and just go over the internal organization of this one since it's completely empty. So you have in the back a privacy zipper that goes from one side to the other. And then under that, you do have this one long stretchy cargo pocket. So it stretches from one side to the other. Now, since you have that privacy zipper area, this does not go all the way up to the top. It is kind of shallow, just like the mini Dory is. It's very shallow at the bottom part of it. Then when you turn it around, you do have your clear zipper compartment. It does come a little bit higher up on the purse than the cargo pocket does in the back. So you have that one solid zipper area from one side to the other. And then on this side over here, you do have one of the key bungees. So that's your internal organization on the inside of the jitter bag. You've got your clear view pocket in the front. You have a privacy zipper and then a large long cargo pocket inside with a key bungee. So that is the internal organization of the jitter bag. And let's just go ahead and go into the mini ranger. So a difference on the mini ranger as opposed to the jitter bag is it does have double zippers and it kind of zips around to the side as well. So you can see how far down the zipper goes on the side almost down to the bottom but not quite and then when you open it up it has that really nice gusset so you can see how this is packed up and it's packed up to the top but it has room for a little bit more when you kind of open it up but then when you kind of close it in you don't want it to be too puffed or anything like that so this is how i have this packed up and i'm going to go ahead and just convert it over here to see if everything will fit in both so i just have deodorant a hair clip some sunglasses regular size sunglasses in their case and a nail file contact solution and a lotion and that all fit down here in that mini ranger kind of in the middle part of that and i converted it all over here with no problem now i also have this wallet that i took out of the mini ranger i'm going to want to put it over here as you can see the jitterbug did not have any kind of wallet organization so there's no built-in wallet in the jitterbug the mini ranger did have it in the front so i'm just going to put the full size wallet here in the middle just like i had it in the front over here and then since i know that the key bungee is in the middle here i am going to go ahead and transfer the 
flashlight over here to this side. The mini ranger, you don't have an you don't have a key bunch on the inside of this one because it's in that back pocket, but it does have a privacy zipper area just like the jitterbug. I don't have anything in that, so I'm not gonna have to convert it over, but then it also has one large stretchy cargo pocket. So it's almost identical to the jitterbug in the back by having that privacy zipper area and then the long cargo pocket. So I just have a mini choo-choo and some hand sanitizer and just some ibuprofen in there that I'm gonna convert over to the cargo pocket that's in the jitterbug. So now you can see I've emptied out that cargo pocket and then when you turn it around to the front, you do have that clear view pocket that is a zipper in the front of the Mini Ranger. So basically the inside of both of these are set up almost identical. The front has the clear view zipper pocket, the back has the long stretchy cargo pocket with the privacy zipper. The only difference is the jitterbug has the key bungee on the inside of this as well. So inside this clear view pocket, I will just empty this out and get my lipstick, lip gloss, and lip balm and transfer that over here to the clear pocket area on the jitterbug. All right, so I have the inside of this Mini Ranger completely emptied out. So this is the classic black and you can see the lining that's on the inside of the Mini Ranger in the classic black. Again, they are very similar as far as the organization goes. The Mini Ranger does have the internal wallet organization that's RFID protected that the jitterbug does not. So it does not have any kind of wallet organization. This one does have the one felt lined area that's designated for the cell phone and the jitterbug actually has two of those, one in the front and one in the back. So if you wanted to put a pair of sunglasses in the back without a case, you could probably do that as well. So these are very, very similar in size and in the way that they are set up. I do like that this Mini Ranger has the grab handle that the Jitterbug does not, but and I also like that it has that double zipper and that really nice gusset on here. So let me go ahead and see if the Jitterbug will zip up and make sure that the cell phone that I put in the front here still does have it magnetically closed. So you can see on the top that it does still close really nicely. So here is the view of the Jitterbug completely packed up. So everything that fits in the Mini Ranger will also fit in the Jitterbug as well. So they have very similar capacity and they just have very similar looks as well. So now let's go ahead and see how these both wear on the body. So let's first look at the jitterbug. So you can carry it with the tote straps, or you also have this one and a half inch strap that you can adjust for crossbody or over the shoulder. So let's just go ahead and see how the jitterbug looks when it is crossbody. So here's the adjustment. I have this much more room I can adjust. I am 5'5 five five for reference. Now you can see a side view and then you can also see the front view. So these tote straps do not lay flat down. So they are gonna be sticking up when you do have it as a crossbody. And then let me just go ahead and show you how it looks as a shoulder bag. Now I did a video the other day on the huddle and I had it in the metallic black material. So this is the metallic pearl material and I was stating how it's a little bit harder to adjust that metallic um, material and I didn't know if it was just the first time I had had one of the metallic fabrications. I didn't know if it was just that particular bag. I have noticed on this bag, the jitterbug, that I'm also having a little bit harder time to adjust this so it is a little bit stiffer so i'm thinking that it's the metallic material that's a little bit stiffer but it does loosen up i think a little bit after you adjust it a little bit it's going to loosen up somewhat so here it is as a shoulder bag so you can see the front view and then you can see the side view as well so next up let's just go ahead and look at the mini ranger so this just has the one inch strap and the jitterbug has the one and a half inch strap so this bag's going to be backwards because again i put the strap on where the adjustment was in the back if i had it right so it's going to be backwards here's the front of the bag and you're going to see it but here is the adjustment this is how much more room i have to adjust it even longer you can see a side view of how it looks crossbody and then you can see the front view on how the mini razor fits against the body and so let me go ahead and just show you how it is if you adjust it all the way as short as it can get to be a shoulder bag so this one has that one inch strap and I don't like it as well as I do the one and a half. I'm so excited that it seems like all the new bags look is coming out with have the one and a half inch strap and I love that even the smaller bag. So here is the view for the shoulder bag and here is the front view as well. And as I'm moving around, it doesn't seem to want to be falling off. So this one's a really good one to stay put on here, even though it is a one inch strap. I've noticed a lot of those like to kind of fall off, but this one's doing a good job of staying put. So now you've seen how both of these bags wear on the body as a crossbody, as a shoulder bag, and then an additional way that you can carry the jitterbug is by these handles. I think that's a real classy way to carry this one. 
sometimes to me when you have these straps that stand up and don't fold over that kind of gets in my way when I'm doing it as a crossbody. Sometimes I don't mind it just depends on the bag but um, as far as the jitterbug I will probably just carry it by the handles because I think it's a really cute way to carry this bag. I love the structure of this bag and I really like this material. I love the metallic material and I'm really liking this pearl color but that metallic black is so gorgeous as well. So here is the comparison between the mini ranger and the classic black and the jitterbug in the metallic pearl. So someone did ask me to do this comparison. I never would have thought to compare these two, but they are very, very similar. The inside organization is almost exactly the same and they are almost the same size. These I think are two very comparable bags. I like both of these. The Mini Ranger has always been one of my favorites, but I'm just buying so many new lug bags that I haven't been carrying this much lately, but I'm really excited to start carrying the jitterbug. I just got it in a couple of days ago, so I'm so excited to start carrying that one. So both of these bags are so good. This metallic pearl is so beautiful, you guys. If you can just see it in person. Now I have the metallic black and it had a little bit of shimmer to it. So I was curious to see if all of the metallic fabrications did. So this metallic pearl has a little bit of sheen and shimmer in this one as well. Love how this gunmetal plays against this metallic pearl. I hope this video was helpful to anybody that is looking at the Jitterbug as a new bag and has the Mini Ranger and can compare the two together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.